Well, this winter turning out not only to be a cold one, but also an expensive one. And we're not just talking about all the salt that it's been taking to try to keep the roads clear. Robert Lowry live in Trotwood tonight with team coverage of the high cost of this winter. Well, that's right. It's all starting to add up. If road crews aren't out there plowing the snow, they're also fixing the pothole. It has many areas digging deep into their winter budgets and possibly more. Seems everyone is looking forward to warmer days ahead. It's all going to end at some point. I have a calendar on the wall of beaches around the world. <laughs> That's what I look at. It's certainly something the city of Trotwood is waiting for. The winter already taken its toll on their salt supply, having to drive 250 tons of salt across the state to last through winter, not to mention some other concerns. The severe weather is also it takes a road, uh, toll on the roadways. we got potholes everywhere that we're filling, and so we're putting a lot of extra work into that. They estimate they've used about 30 percent more of the budget they used last year for winter. At the county level, the outlook is the same. Engineers say this is one of the worst winters they've had to deal with since the late 1970s, and it's eating into their budgets. Already we're about 50% more use of salt and overtime than we had last year. January brought a new fiscal year for the county budget, with it a new challenge for road crews battling historical levels of cold and snow. County engineer Paul Gruner says they're already halfway through what was budgeted for winter weather in 2014. If next winter starts off as bad as this year, they'll have to pull from other resources such as spring and summer maintenance projects. We'll have to cut back on some other materials as the year goes on, possibly, if, depending on how the rest of the winter goes. We may have to shift some money, some money around in December if we need to to, to uh, get by. And it's not just at the city and county levels. The Ohio Department of Transportation in District 7, which covers a majority of the Miami Valley, says that they have also seen an increase in, in battling the elements this winter. They're reporting about $9 million they've spent battling all those elements, fixing potholes, repairs, maintenance, and plowing all that snow. That's about $1.5 million more than they spent last year. And this year, there's still a month of winter to go. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.